In this video, learn how to pronounce schedule in American English. Schedule, 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 schedule. Which one is right? I get a lot of questions on this one, not only because of the unusual sounds it includes, but also because British English pronounces it quite differently than American English. Now, if you've seen my other videos, you know we're going to talk about that final L sound, which is both a dark L and a syllabic L. And you may already be aware of the pronunciation of the SCH at the beginning of the word. But I bet you're fooled by the DU in the middle. Anyway, there are lots of tricky sounds that make up this word. Keep watching to learn how to say it like a native speaker. Probably the easiest part of this word is the SCH at the beginning, which though a little bit unusual, occurs in some other common words like school. Pronounce the SCH here as if it were spelled SK or SC, like in the words skate or scan. So the first syllable of this word is pronounced ske. Note that the E sound is a short E. To say it properly, keep your tongue low and forward, open your mouth quite a bit, relax all the muscles. Eh. Eh. If you'd like more practice on this sound and how to tell the difference between words like men, man, and main, watch my video on the short E. The part of this word that may seem oddest to you is the middle part, the DU pronunciation. This is pronounced Jew, as if it were spelled with a J. Jew. Jew. So now, with the first two syllables of this word, we have skedju. Skedju. If you want to know more about when and why the D turns into a J sound here, please take a look at my video when DU is pronounced J. Now finally, let's talk about that L ending. It's both a syllabic L and a dark L. It's a syllabic L because it changes a two-syllable word into what sounds like three syllables. Notice, ske, ju, Schedule. Then there's an extra sound inserted before that final L. Do you notice that schwa sound there? Schedule. Schedule. Now, in order to get this just right, you'll also want to add a little W sound between the U and the L. Can you hear it? Schedule, schedule. Really stretch this out so it sounds like there are three separate syllables. That last part sounds similar to the word jewel. Two syllables, jewel, schedule, schedule. And also note that the final L is a dark L since it occurs after a vowel sound. This L is actually pronounced in a different part of your mouth than the regular L you find at the beginning of words. It starts in the back of your mouth with the back of your tongue low and then it rises up. Oh, oh, schedule, schedule. Most all non-native English speakers are unfamiliar with this dark L and syllabic L and therefore pronounce it incorrectly. So please take a look at my dark L practice video to learn about both the dark L and the syllabic L and get in some practice too. Now one last thing to note, 
make sure to put most emphasis on the first part of the word. Ske is louder and longer than the other two syllables. Schedule. Schedule. Now let's practice schedule in some sentences. I have to check my schedule. What's on the schedule for today? We need to schedule a time to meet. I hope that helped. Would you like private help with your English? Why not schedule a free consultation with me? Find the link in the description of this video. Did you notice I said schedule? If you did, that's awesome. You have a well-trained ear. If not, listen again. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next video.